Hi, I'm Bill Yaki. I'm the Senior Product Marketing Manager at Dialpad for Unified Communications, UCAS, and our Dialpad Talk product. And today we're going to talk about E911. So why you're asking about E911? Well, there's a lot of chatter in the market right now about E911 specifically related to Ray Bombs Act with some updates that came in January of 2022. Um, so what is E911? Well, to put it simply, E911 makes sure that people calling 911 from any phone at a business can get found and get help wherever they are. So calling 911 on a cell phone means that you might be calling from anywhere in the world. So E911 ensures that the emergency services get to your location and get there fast. But not only is this important for organizations, obviously you want your employees to be safe, but communication providers as well, because you don't want to leave your customers in danger. And of course now it's mandated by law. So this can take different forms based on the service in question. VoIP calls and cell phone calls handle that voice traffic differently. So E911 laws regulating them will be a little bit different too. With that in mind, let's take a closer look at E911 locators and how Dialpad's E911 calling helps keep all employees safe. All right, let's start by answering that question. E911 is designed to improve the effectiveness of emergency calls for mobile devices by providing additional information on wireless 911 calls. This works by having FCC carriers provide the public safety answering point, or the PSAP, with important information for calls, including telephone number, wireless 911 calls come in from, the location of the cell site or base station transmitting those calls, and the location of the caller, and they do that by latitude and longitude. So in short, it lets emergency services know where you're calling from so they can get to you more quickly. And that's a simple version of it, at least. For wireless calls, it's easy enough. The calls are received from cell towers and the cellular networks can triangulate the caller's device and use the phone's built-in GPS to get the location. However, things are a little bit different from voice over IP calls. With VoIP, you're connecting to the internet to make a call, which can make it a little more complicated. It can be harder for emergency services to find your location over a VoIP call, but the FCC does have some E911 rules in place to help. VoIP providers should provide 911 service to all customers without needing to waste time navigating menus to make that call. 911 calls should be transmitted along with a callback number and the caller's registered physical location to the appropriate emergency services call center. And providers need to provide their customers with a clear understanding of their 911 service and its limitations. VoIP providers can and should also provide features to help locate E911 callers such as an automatic, automatic location information, ALI, database that helps assign locations to devices. It offers support for phone mobility with the presence information and support for VoIP devices so off-site workers can update their locations in real time. All of this is designed to help emergency services get to you quickly, no matter what device you're calling from. Okay, so does Dialpad offer E911? Of course we do. Dialpad is compliant with the FCC's Carries Law and Ray Bombs Act, so you can use it to make 911 calls with confidence. It works like this. When you make an emergency call, the call includes the location provided by your admin. We want to make sure that we can provide as accurate a location as possible. So there are two ways that Dialpad gets your location information. If you're inside a physical building, we gather information like the wireless ID endpoints and their locations, and then map those endpoints to pinpoint your location. This is similar to how a cell phone tower can be used to triangulate your location on a cell phone. This can help emergency services locate you more accurately down to the floor of the building that you're on and even the cubicle that you're in. If you're outside of the building, we use the latitude and longitudinal information tied to the call to locate you. E911 location information is provided by the admins ahead of time rather than gathered at the time of the call. Keep in mind that you'll need to allow the app to access your phone's location services, otherwise it might not be able to find you. 
Oh, and did we mention that it will work with your emergency text services too? That's right. Right now we're working on E911 for SMS messaging as well. So as much as we hope you'll never have to call 911, rest assured that when you place an emergency call with Dialpad, we're providing everything you need to help emergency services find you and help you as fast as possible.